have uh, somewhere in the ballpark of 22 to 23 million acres of corn and soybean just here in the state of Illinois. And we treat virtually all these acres for controlling weeds, whether it be water hemp here in the Midwest, Palmer amaranth, which tends to be more common in the South. If you harvest one water hemp an acre, uh, the very next year you could have five per square feet. That's why it's so important, you know, to, to stay after it year in and year out. If we're selling the best product to that grower, we're gonna have the best success rate of keeping those fields clean. Tribal herbicide is a multi-mode action pre-emerge chemical for corn. It's best to just not even let the weed come out of the ground. Um, and Tribal, it's gonna help us accomplish that. We've stepped into the plot here at U of I to take a look at what the weed pressure is. And this is the untreated check that I'm standing in front of. And you'll see that we've got tall water hemp and common water hemp, which is the predominant species throughout the plot, as well as some velvet leaf, a few random giant ragweeds, and you can see we have some foxtail and grass pressure as well. So now we're taking an opportunity to introduce you to tribal herbicide. This is the full rate that we will have labeled for this soil type in 2022. As you can see, it's controlling all those problematic weeds that we had in the untreated. You can see they're very, very clean. You can see all the way down the row. Generally speaking, the performance that we have seen has been much more consistent, longer lasting residual control from products that contain multiple effective herbicides. It looks like it holds the weeds back for a long period of time, which is what we definitely need.